make sure to become a member to help the channel link is in the description hello guys once again it's Matt and today we have another video kind of a review for the A10A kinda late I know but I was waiting for the custom loadout to actually make a full review on this aircraft but yeah we are going to have to just release this video and when the custom loadout is actually released we are going to make a video on that as well I'm going to put some gameplay on the background as you see uh, but yeah let's talk a little bit about it it's a very interesting aircraft remember this aircraft is an attacker it's not a fighter of course so so it does one thing very very good you know a very uh, in a very effective way which is uh, ground attacking uh, especially anti-tank missions and stuff like that uh, it was uh, developed in the late 60s early 70s and the first flight occurred in 1972 introduction in 1977 uh, still in service in, in the U United States Air Force and there are over uh, 700 uh, built so a lot of them were used in a lot of wars like the first Gulf War and Iraq's invasion of uh, um, of 2003 so yeah in Afghanistan and yeah it's just a very capable aircraft but remember it's a CAS aircraft which means it's not good at anything else other than actually ground attacking you have to always remember that um, it is an effective weapon against tanks especially you know uh, of course the 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 way that the the A-10 works and it was developed it is behind the GAU-8 gun which is a very commonly known gun uh, the 30 millimeter with the AP rounds of the um, of made of uh, uh, uranium so yeah the, it's very effective against ground targets uh, but normally just light ones but you can use it against um, tanks as well if you hit it from the side or from the top you can kill a lot of tanks so it is pretty interesting to have that um, and yeah basically this is it uh, for the design is basically built around uh, the gun itself and yeah it has one pilot it has straight wings so the speed is very low and the engines even though they are pretty pretty strong uh, they are the TF-34s uh, uh, they have like 40 kilonewtons each which makes uh, 80 kilonewtons of force which is a pretty strong engine uh, they are turbofans and they are pretty just they are good for heavy weight because of the way that the the, the aircraft works you know uh, the pilot is protected with uh, I think it's titanium um, tub you know so it can protect mostly against uh, various types of um, you know shrapnel and stuff like that you know it cannot take a, a 30 millimeter heat and be safe but it is overall a very survivable aircraft it is very strong but the problem with it is that it is very 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 slow of course you know uh, as all attacker aircraft uh, when the Sukhoi 22 came come to the game it will be like that as well so yeah uh, for the weapon loadouts we have various types of weapons as I said before the custom loadout hasn't been added yet so we cannot see the full loadout that is available for this aircraft but we can see that uh, it has some types of uh, various um, very good uh, weaponry choices apart from the gun which is the main armament you can take the for you know air to air combat and defense mainly defense for of the aircraft you can take the M9L which is a uh, missile that we already saw in the F104 video and it's a very capable missile all aspect like the R60 a little bit better than the R60 and yeah right now the M9L is kind of kind of weird it takes a while to accelerate and there is a lining code that prevents it going for the, the right um, interception uh, flight path uh, which is kind of weird but the missile is still pretty good uh, especially at SPR it's 10.0 so the missiles are pretty amazing um, as I said uh, there's various types of weaponry so and we will have probably more but uh, when the custom loadout is released, we have the Mark 84, the Mark 82, probably we will have the Mark 83 as well, and even the Mark 81. Uh, we have the Hydra 70s, uh, 
M247, which is just a Hydra missiles, uh, rockets. But the main armaments together with the 9Ls are the Mavericks. Uh, instead of reusing, of course, we have the A10A early, the carry the A9, uh, the AGM-65B, uh, but now we actually have on the late variant the AGM-65D, which is basically the same missile, but uh, with a different type of guidance, uh, an IR guidance, which is kind of, it can be very effective to see targets, I mean, it's a very early thermal option, uh, thermal optics, but uh, you can still identify targets and stuff. Uh, be careful when firing from a larger distance uh, because you can kill people with it uh, friendly, friendly, so you have to be careful on that. And yeah, basically the best loadout for now it is the AGMs together with the M9Ls uh, just because, you know, the aircraft itself is probably going to be more used in ground RB even though I actually researched the A10A late very quickly uh, on on ARB uh, with the M9Ls and bombs and stuff like that you can get a lot of points and being a 10.0 it doesn't need a lot of points with the with the loadouts so yeah you can I mean it's hard to grind it out uh, the aircraft on the on the on uh, ground RB because you don't get a lot of points sometimes you get killed in the early matches but you can do it uh, because the cannon is such a good weapon against tanks that you can actually do it uh, especially when you get the offensive ones, you can get the ground ones which have a lot of AP rounds and they have uh, basically 102 millimeters of penetration at a closer gist distance. Of course, you're going to use it uh, from 500 meters to one kilometer at least. Uh, so it would be like 75 millimeters at zero angle, even though mm, mm, you're going to end up getting 60 to 50 to 40 millimeters of pen. Uh, because of the angles, but still amazing compared to other uh, weapons of this type. And with that and the M9Ls, uh, you can protect yourself and kill a lot of th tanks. So you can grind it out with the ground RB, but I, I advise you guys to fly the RRB. Still a little bit easier to get the Mavericks. Once you get the Mavericks, just go for the ground RB and just uh, blow everything up. Uh, you can get a lot, of, a lot of kills with the Mavericks and with the guns. Uh, of course, later, uh, w because we have in the A10 early, we also probably going to receive the GBU-8 or maybe the GBU-15, maybe the walleyes or something like that as well. Uh, and we have the M61A um, Vulcan cannon as well on the early variant. Uh, if you ask me if the, uh, the early variant is worth it, I think it, it is depending on what type of aircraft you like. It's not an aircraft for everybody. It's, it can die a lot, you know, uh, and it's just very good at striking stuff, but not as a fighter, of course. doesn't have radar or anything like that. The, the A9s right now are kind of not the greatest, and especially with the speed that these aircraft fly, it's not going to be the most amazing thing ever, you know. Uh, but you can still get a lot of points being a premium, and especially a lot of silver lines. So remember that when you are going to buy, if you're going to buy this. Um, and after the custom lo loadout is added, uh, even with the Maverick D, which is also, a, a, I mean, it's one of the most amazing air-to-ground weapons in the game right now, uh, you will probably be able to take at least three or four, maybe five, I don't know, uh, GBU-8s, probably three, uh, which makes it a very effective weapon uh, with smart weapons, you know? Fly high, try to, the, the idea behind this aircraft is to fly high, and just try to get people by surprise from up above. Uh, of course, we have the MVD, which is the only aircraft in the game, uh, fixed wing, of course, that has the MVD, which helps a lot, uh, especially looking for aircraft or helicopters and stuff like that. You can see the dot very, in a very, um, a more effective way, you know, uh, when it's night. And together with the thermals, with the Mavericks, it can be very effective in a, a night battles. Uh, don't underestimate an A10, even though it's a very bad fighter, uh, it's a very good uh, strike aircraft. So yeah, it can be very effective. And if there is no AA systems, even with AA systems, but let's say there is no AA systems or aircraft or helicopters to kill it, it can basically win a match. You can kill like 
theoretically you can kill like I don't know 10 tanks maybe in a match even more but that's just I mean it's a, a chance thing you know in the end depends on also on the VR that you're facing if you face the up tiers you will probably get uh, a lot of problems with it but anyway um, this is the 810 guys I'm sorry that it, it took me t this long to to actually make this video I actually wanted to make it earlier, but I really wanted the custom loadout to be added, but uh, it didn't yet. Uh, and yeah, basically, I need to do this. Uh, next week, we're going to see uh, more Israeli stuff if nothing is added to War Thunder. And tomorrow, we will see a video on simulator battles and ground simulator battles using the A10 as well. So keep an eye out. And make sure to share and subscribe, guys. Make sure to be a member. I don't know why my videos are not. Uh, being the reach of YouTube is kind of weird sometimes. Sometimes a, a, a very similar video that you did that got a thousand five hundred views gets a hundred views. So the, I don't know what is happening with algorithm uh, with the War Thunder stuff. I don't know. I really don't know. If maybe people are not searching a lot of things, but it is really weird uh, in this past few weeks. Uh, I don't know, but. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.